Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Dwarven Commoner Edition. In our last installment, uh, we wrapped up a side quest in Orzammar and talked about possibly some change in plans for future Let's Plays, but we're not sure yet. And, uh, sort of discussed just kind of how far we've come. So now we're going to go see about curing Arl Eamon with the Pouch of Sacred Ashes. And so, our quest to stop the blight continues. Will we succeed? Watch and find out. Let's see, have I incurred? Oh no, wait, I think that was way back when. Alright. Hello, Bantigan, we have returned from our quest. You return? Might you have news? Uh, what is our Eamon's condition? Unchanged, I'm afraid. We've tried more magical healing, but nothing works. As time passes, I become more and more convinced the urn might be our only hope. Well, I found the urn. You have? Wonderful. Let us go at once to Eamon's side and see if the urn's healing powers live up to their reputation. Indeed. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death, sacrifice. The Grey Warden motto. Very appropriate to this game. He'll live! He'll live! Yay! Where am I? Be calm, brother. You have been deathly ill for a very long time. Do you remember nothing? Tegan? What are you doing here? Where is Isolde? I am here, my husband. I'm Connor. Where is my boy? Where is our son? He lives. Though many others are dead. There is much to tell you, husband. Dead? Then... It was not a dream. Much has happened since you fell ill, brother. Some of it will not be... Easy for you to hear. Then tell me. I wish to hear all of it. He lives! He lives! And he'll be happy to know oh, that his wife and son are safe. Although... I'm still kind of mad at what his soul did, but whatever. I think a lot of players are mad. This is most troubling. Indeed. There is much to be done, that is true. But I should first be thankful to those who have done so much. Grey Warden, you have not only saved my life, but kept my family safe as well. I am in your debt. Will you permit me to offer you a reward for your service? Well, uh, I need your help against the Blight. That will do. I understand, but regardless of your motivations, I feel you are worthy of a reward. I would like to honor your efforts. Nothing more. As you wish, then. Then allow me to declare you and those traveling with you champions of Redcliffe. You will always be a welcome guest within these halls. And for you, Warden, a shield of the same make as those that have been given to our finest knights. Uh, thank you, Your Grace. We should speak of Loghain, brother. There is no telling what he will do once he learns of your recovery. Loghain instigates a civil war even though the Darkspawn are on our very doorstep. Long I have known him, he is a sensible man, one who never desired power. I was there when he announced he was taking control of the throne, Eamon. He is mad with ambition, I tell you. Mad indeed. 
Mad enough to kill Kalen to attempt to kill myself and destroy my lands. Whatever happened to him, Loghain must be stopped. What's more, we can scarce afford to fight this war to its bitter end. Um... What are you proposing, then? We have no time to wage a campaign against him. Someone must surrender if Ferelden is to have any chance of fighting the Darkspawn. Hmm. So... Loghain must capitulate, then. I agree. Loghain will pay for his heinous crimes, but our armies must be reserved for the Darkspawn, not for each other. I will spread word of Loghain's treachery, both here and against the King. But it will be but a claim made without proof. Those claims will give Loghain's allies pause, but we must combine it with a challenge Loghain cannot ignore. We need someone with a stronger claim to the throne than Loghain's daughter, the Queen. Are you referring to Alistair, brother? Are you certain? I would not propose such a thing if we had an alternative, but the unthinkable has occurred. Uh, actually, I think it's a great idea. Tegan and I have a claim through marriage, but we would seem opportunists no better than Loghain. Alistair's claim is by blood. And what about me? Does anyone care what I want? You have a responsibility, Alistair. Without you, Loghain wins. I would have to support him for the sake of Ferelden. Is that what you want? I... B but I... No, my lord. I see only one way to proceed. I will call for a landsmeet, a gathering of all of Ferelden's nobility in the city of Denerim. There, Ferelden can decide who shall rule, one way or another. Then the business of fighting our true foe can begin. What say you to that, my friend? I do not wish to proceed without your blessing. Um... My blessing? Why do you need my blessing? None of this would be possible without you. You led Alistair here. You saved my life with the urn of sacred ashes. It's your lead I follow. I am a credible enough figure in this nation to call the lands meet, but I hold no illusions that I could face Loghain without you. Surely you see that. What's stopping Loghain from just attacking Redcliffe? Why do you think he had me poisoned? He wanted me gone without having to confront me directly. If I call for a lands meet, Refusing the compromise and attacking Redcliffe will only support our accusations. I'm sure he'd rather I died from the poison. Had the demon not interfered, that's exactly what would have happened. Hmm. Do you think the lands meet will work? That depends. If we cannot get a consensus in the lands meet for Alistair, we cannot afford to oppose Loghain either. Does that mean Loghain could win? A man who killed his own king, who has gone mad with power? Perhaps. We must see that he does not. All right. It seems we have little choice. Very well. I will send out the word. But before we proceed, I believe there is the matter of the mage, my son's tutor. He still lives, I understand. He does. He is in the dungeon, brother. Have him brought here, Tegan. I wish to see him. Jowan, what you have done is not in question. You tried to assassinate me and set into motion a series of events that nearly destroyed everything I cherish. What have you to say in your own defense? Nothing, my lord. Other than to say I am sorry. I expect no mercy for what I have done. I see. Grey Warden, have you anything to say on Jowan's behalf? Let's see. Well... He seems earnest in his desire to repent. Oh? That is... unexpected. And what would you have me do? As the injured party, my ability to see the merciful path is... strained. Well... Give him to the Circle of Magi. True enough. And wisely said. Jowan, I hereby turn you over to the Tower of the Circle of Magi. May the Maker have mercy on your soul. Thank you, my lord. 
Now, back to the matter of the land's meat. We should head to Denerim as soon as possible. I can delay that, however, if you have other plans. I would prefer not giving Loghain time to consider, but it is up to you. I do not wish to go to Denerim unless you are with me. Actually, let's go to Denerim now. I am ready. Excellent. I shall make the arrangements. Let us be off to Denerim, and may the Maker watch over us. And so, off to Denerim. We ride! And may the Maker and the Ancestors watch over us all. Denerim is the heart and soul of Ferelden. It was the city of King Kalanhad, the birthplace of Andraste. As stubborn as a Mabari, and as good to have on your side. If we defeat Loghain here, the rest of the nation will follow us. By calling the lands meet, I've struck the first blow. The advantage for the moment is ours. He will have little choice but to show himself, to oppose us directly. He will strike back at us. The only question that remains is how soon. Loghain, this is an honor that the Regent would find time to greet me personally. How could I not welcome a man so important as to call every lord in Ferelden away from his estates while a blight claws at our land? The blight is why I'm here. With Caelan dead, Ferelden must have a king to lead it against the Darkspawn. Ferelden has a strong leader. It's Queen, and I lead her armies. Well, if Anora rules, let her speak for herself. Ah, the Grey Warden recruit. I thought we might meet again. You have my sympathies on what happened to your order. It is unfortunate that they chose to turn against Ferelden. Hmm. Enough of this. When does the lands meet begin? Don't interrupt, Churl. Your betters are talking. Enough, Carthrian. This is not the time or place. I had hoped to talk you down from this rash cause, Eamon. Our people are frightened. Our king is dead. Our land is under siege. We must be united now if we are to endure this crisis. Your own sister, Queen Rowan, fought tirelessly to see Ferelden restored. Would well, you see her work destroyed? You divide our nation and weaken our efforts against the Blight, with your selfish ambitions to the throne. Hmm. Well, it's true that what efforts can there be when you outlaw the Great Wardens? But if you truly want to stay... Uh, <clears throat> if you truly want to save this land, Please stand with us. I should put my faith in untried foreign hands. Do you think I'm blind? Kalen depended on the Grey Warden's prowess against the Darkspawn, and look how well that ended. Let us speak of reality rather than tall tales. Stories will not save us. I cannot forgive what you've done, Loghain. Perhaps the Maker can, but not I. Our people deserve a king of the Theron bloodline. Alistair will be the one to lead us to victory in this blight. Oh, is that all I have to do? No pressure. The Emperor of Orlais also thought I could not bring him down. Expect no more mercy than I showed him. There is nothing I would not do for my homeland. Well, that was bracing. I didn't expect Loghain to show himself quite so soon. Hmm. Why is he doing this? Maker knows. Perhaps he's gone mad. I would have imagined pigs would fly before Loghain McTeer would turn against our king. Have you known him a long time? 
My sister married King Merrick while he was still in exile. At that time, he and Loghain were inseparable. The wild prince who'd never seen the inside of a castle and the farmer's son. When Loghain joined Merrick's rebels, he was just a raw-boned boy. But he got on one knee to swear that he would see Ferelden free or die trying. Hmm. You sound like you admire him. He made us a free people once more. You can't know what it was like to grow up as a vassal in your own land, while punsy little Orlesians minced around in their silks. I would never have believed he would do anything but what was best for Ferelden. We need eyes and ears in the city. Loghain has been here for months. The roots of all his schemes must begin here. The sooner we find them, the better we can turn them to our advantage. Go have a look around, and see what you can turn up. Better yet, find the nobles who have arrived for the landsmate. Test the waters. See how many will support us. When you're ready to talk strategy, come upstairs to my sitting room. We can lay out our plans for the landsmate then. All right, sounds good. And we have another little level up. Let's see, what should we take today? Well, it seems we have little choice. We shall take precise striking. And thus begins the lands meet. And at this point, I think is a good time to save and cut the video off here, and I will see you all on the next installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Origins Store of Uncommoner Edition. You know the drill, see you next time.